Hello and welcome to our first uh, Python challenge. Um, in this challenge, we're going to ask that you um, basically take a user's input, and it's going to be two inputs. So we're going to take a user's first name and user's last name, and we're going to display a message to them. So for example, we want you to write a program that acts like ours, all right? So what I'm going to do is run this little program, and notice that my cursor came down here to the left, all right? We're not going to prompt the user with our inputs, but there is two inputs here. So I'm going to do uh, Thomas, and I'm going to do Myers, that's my name. Hit return, and we're going to return a message. Hello, Thomas Myers, you are learning Python 3, all right? <clears throat> So now we ask you to pause the video and go ahead and write your own program. All right. If you come up with a solution, great. If you get stuck, continue to watch our video and we'll show you how we solve this issue. All right. So we hope you solved the issue, right? The, the problem at hand. So we know two things. And these two things are one, we're going to take a input from a user or actually two inputs from a user and we're going to return a message all right so what are we going to need we're going to need two input statements and some kind of way to return a message to the user all right when i'm writing these working with these issues i like to use functions all right yeah you can do it on a single line and print a statement back to the user uh, but i like to use functions because how about down the road if we're writing a program and we want to use this function again well, it's great to have that function on hand so we don't have to rewrite it, all right? So part of this tutorial series is going to be don't repeat yourself. We're trying to write efficient code, all right? So first things first, let's go ahead and write two input statements, all right? These input statements need to, um, we need to store the data with a variable. So we're going to do first name, all right? And we're going to set that equal to uh, input like this. All right, and then we have another um, input statement we need to take, and that's going to be last name. So we'll do last name, and we'll set it to input like this. All right, sweet. So now if we run the program, we're going to go ahead and get two input statements. But that's not going to do much for us at the moment. So our next task on hand is we know we need to return a message to the user. And I said I like to write things in functions. So what we're going to do is put a function up here, and we're going to say define, um, I don't know what should we call it, uh, hello, that sounds good, hello, and it's going to take two parameters, the first name and the last name, all right? Inside this function, we're just going to go ahead and print something because we want to print it back to the um, user, all right? And then we're just going to go ahead and put in that uh, sentence that we returned in the introduction to this tutorial and that is hello and then we put the user's first name like that and then last name and we're going to fix this it's not how it's supposed to look and then we're going to say exclamation point then we had a comma and then we're going to say you are learning um python 3. all right so that's what the basic layout of it is now how do we inject um inputs from a user into a string all right so we can use the format method or function i should say format function or we can use an f string we're going to go ahead and use the format function for this one so we're going to go ahead and replace this first name with curly braces replace his last name with curly braces and we'll go ahead and come back here and add the format uh, function here and we'll go ahead and pass in uh, first name and last name all right cool so right now it looks like we're making our way through it now one last thing we need to do is call that function so how do we call that function we're gonna call the function hello and we're gonna pass in the parameters so first name and last name all right we'll save our file and we'll come into our um, um, terminal and we'll run python3 solution.py and notice my cursor came down here. I'm going to put my first name Thomas and my last name Myers 
Boom. Hello, Thomas Myers. You are learning Python 3. So that's how you would approach solving the issue. You got to take baby steps. We knew we needed two inputs. And we also knew we needed some way to return a message to the user. So we kind of worked our way through it. Yeah, this is a simple uh, problem. But as we work through these tutorials, they're going to get more and more complicated. So we'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.